Hi y'all, it's Mimsy here. Today I'm gonna do a Christmas home tour. I was invited by a friend of mine, Jess, from Domicile 37, to participate in her Instagram house tour, the eclectic home tour. And so I thought I would go ahead and make a YouTube video as well to go along with that. So I'll show you around my house and the things that I've done for Christmas and probably tell you some stuff that I'm planning to do this coming year. So let's get started. First of all, I am standing outside of my front door and I live in Florida, so it's very warm here year-round. Uh, this is actually the best time of year here in Florida, winter. Uh, this is the time of year that we are outside the most. So one of the things that I want to do this year is paint my brick house. I'm going to paint it white. I bought the Roma Bio paint on clearance at Home Depot. It was an oops paint. I got a five gallon bucket of Roma Bio of Oreo white probably two years ago now and I've had it in my garage for all that time and I really want to paint my brick. The thing that's been holding me up is I want to change the windows on my kids bedroom. So once I do that then I'm going to paint this brick and the house is going to look totally different. So let's go in. So I, I got some garland from a friend of mine who is a florist. That's what I put around my doors and then I do my two planters with just some trimmings from the Home Depot and some poinsettias and pine cones and actually some of the plants that are in there are still the mums from Thanksgiving. So this is my foyer and I have this round mirror over this settee that I just got from a good friend of mine. She gave me this settee just before uh, Thanksgiving. So I haven't done anything to it. My intention is to reupholster it, but I want to find just the right fabric for it. So I'm holding off on that and this settee will probably end up at my dining room table in time. I have these cute little brass wheels that I'm going to put on it to raise it up to table height and then I will reupholster it and then I think it's going to be at my dining room table. So I made these pillows quite a few years back. The two vintage looking pillows, tapestry type pillows, were a couple tapestries that my mom bought years ago and she had never made them into anything. They were just in her stash and so I inherited her stash and I used this beautiful gold velvet on the back, red piping, and made those into pillows. This one is a project that I did. I do have a YouTube video on how to make transfer paper, um, and I did this one quite a few years ago. It kind of needs maybe to be redone. And then this is a quilt that my mom made years ago. It's just pretty over this fabric that's a little outdated. I got him at a thrift store last year, I think. And he's so cute. He's solid brass, so he's super heavy. All right, then from my foyer, that's the hallway that goes down to our bedrooms. And my house is pretty open. It's pretty much just all one room, which is good and bad all at, <laughs> all at once. So here's my our piano and bookshelves. The bookshelves I did myself a number of years back. I picked up all of the shelves at a thrift store and so I just put those wreaths on top of my lights and put some red bows on there and that's that. And then I also have, let me show you one little thing closer. This little tree is something that I've had for years and years. It was made by my grandmother and these were some of the costume jewelry that she had. And I can just imagine her wearing some of those earrings and brooches and she made that and then my mom had it and I got it. So I love it. And our piano and microphone that we use for all of our holiday gatherings. I have a large family and everybody sings. This is our favorite thing to do is to sing at the piano. Everybody takes turns and then sings in groups. It's super fun. And then my patio, which which in the winter we almost always have these doors open because the weather is just perfect this time of year. And then my swinging bed and I did put a couple pillows on my swinging bed and I won't show you too much out here because I haven't done much. It's kind of actually a little bit of a mess but I did add some Christmas pillows to the outside couch which everything kind of needs to be fluffed up. Back inside here is my main Christmas tree that has all of our family ornament on it. Um, all of our colorful Christmas balls and family ornaments. All the things that the kids made. So this is our sentimental tree. And then I don't have a regular tree skirt. This is another quilt that my mom made years ago and so I just use that around the bottom of the tree. 
here's my dining table. It is all set for Christmas dinner. Now I will take this all away because I do host Christmas Eve for my whole family, my whole extended family, some friends and neighbors all come on Christmas Eve. So I will eliminate all the plates and everything. I'll just leave the centerpiece on the table because for Christmas Eve we do just heavy hors d'oeuvres. So that will all be kind of in the kitchen and the table will be clear except for I'll leave this centerpiece. And I love, love my crystal, my cut crystal. I know it's a little bit out of style. Most people don't use cut crystal anymore, but I just love it. And I usually have it put away and Christmas is just about the only time that I take it out and clean it and use it. And this is all my grandmother's china. And I love to use these things inside a beautiful table for my family. It's, I think it's so special and so fun. So that's my dining room. And then to the left of that is my living room. So if you follow me at all on YouTube, you know that I did just slip covered these two sofas. These are the two sofas that were my last couple videos that I bought from somebody on Facebook Marketplace. And I just finished the slip covers and actually they're really not even quite finished yet. I still have to make, or it's my intention to make a bolster pillow for all four ends. And I did one on that right corner there. Obviously it's too small. So I made it and it doesn't fit. So I'll bring it in a little bit. I just recently got this table. Actually, after Thanksgiving, I got this table and it was on the side of the road. Somebody had put it on the side of the road. The top needed to be refinished. It loved the double legs faux bamboo look of it. And then I picked up those two chairs from the Habitat for Humanity. I like to have a lot of seating because like I said, I, ha I have a lot of family. And so we have, you know, Christmas Eve, there'll probably be about 40 people here. So we'll be inside and outside because the weather's going to be really nice and we'll have a bonfire out there. So anyhow, and then that painting above the fireplace, I bought that at a consignment shop for $15 just recently and popped it up there on the same nail that was holding the previous art so it's a little bit low and I do want to paint the mat and paint the frame. I'll probably go with a dark gray on the mat and maybe a gold frame. So that's a project still. And then my two trees on either side of my fireplace which I always have these two trees because they they just bring such a beautiful glow to the room and I generally do these pretty neutral. I actually picked up this pink ribbon for something else but ended up using it here because it's just such a pretty, pretty ribbon. These little lights I got at a thrift store. I think they're so cute. I've got one strand of those on each tree. And then this, these little paper things, that's actually a mask that I wore to a masquerade Christmas party. And then bring you around the room to my kitchen. So my china cabinet, I've got plans to do something on the back of that and either paint it or something. And then my kitchen is on the other side. I didn't really do much in there other than just rearrange my shelf, my floating shelf, add in a, an amaryllis, my little angel and some scripture over there. I'll bring you in a little closer. Christmas cards on my Dutch door leading into my workroom on my glasses. And this is my amaryllis, the angel, my scripture, and my usual shelfy items. And then in this corner, I just added a little bit of greenery to the little floating shelf that I have over here and a little red ribbon. And that, that's my long, long, my big charcuterie, those are all my charcuterie boards. I've got a long, long one that was my kitchen countertop. This one here is my former kitchen countertop one for this. So I just cut a piece of it, put a handle on both ends and made it into a cheese board. And then I've got a smaller one here. And then we're back looking at my dining room and this is the view of my living room from my kitchen. So this is where I spend a lot of time right here at my stove. So this is my view of my house.
That is the inside of my house.